All right, so there's a couple of more things I wanted to show you about JSON and the Mongo shell before we move on to building the rest of our first application, our very small application. The first is that, as we talked about earlier, we can create documents which have some hierarchy in them. So in this one, I'm going to create an A key, a B key, as well as a C key, or I'll just call it fruits again, or fruit. And then I'm going to put in that array, apple, orange, and pear, I'm going to close the parentheses, and I'm going to save that into the collection. Now if I do a db.things.find, I'll find my document in there. As you can see, again, the heterogeneous nature of the collections. So now we have a, a document with A, B, and an array fruit with apple, orange, and pear in it. And they can, it can be nested any way you want. You might imagine that if I was creating an address record, for instance, I could do something like this. My name is Andrew, and my address, I could put a sub-document right in here with the street being Elm Drive, and the city being Palo Alto, and the zip being 94305, which I think is Palo Alto zip. Maybe we need a house number there, so we'll do the house number 34. I'm going to close that up right there, and I'm going to close that up. Oh, I can see an error already. I can go back in the shell. You can see right there, I didn't actually make the whole thing a JSON document. So I'm going to put that in. I'm using Emacs. This is a Control F to go forward in the shell. Like that. That's a sub document within the document. So I need to two closing parentheses and I can close it up. And there we go. And now let's look at db.things.find. And let's do it in a pretty way. There's a little pretty command inside the shell that lets you print them out in a pretty way. And if you see there, it's, it's actually scrolled off the screen, but you can see this final document I added has an ID that's been assigned by the database, a name of Andrew, and then an address, which is itself a sub-document. And this sort of shows you the hierarchy that can exist inside MongoDB. And we're going to get to this later, but you know this is really well suited to programming because when you have data structures inside code, you know this is the way your data structures look, right? They've got some hierarchy to them. They often have dictionaries. This is really a dictionary, if you, if you think about it, within, in, within Python. They often have arrays, and you can express that directly inside Mongo, so there's no mismatch between the way the data is expressed inside the tables and the way the data is expressed inside your program. All right, let's do a quick quiz based on what we just learned, and again, try to identify what valid Mongo documents look like. Okay, next quiz. Which of the following are valid JSON documents? You can check all that apply.